welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree mug rack that is super sturdy. I wanted to make sure I made something that was going to be able to hold the weight of a lot of mugs. Now this is inspired by Simple Made Pretty on Instagram. I think it's very important to give credit when credit is due. Even if somebody does something small and it inspires you to create something even bigger, I think it's important to give credit when, and when credit is due, especially when that person like continues to do things that you're inspired off of. I think once in a while you should at least credit them. So me personally, I'm a big fan of giving credit when credit is due. Side note, I'm not saying if you create things for fun when people come over like your grandmother to be like, this was inspired by Bargain Bethany. She's gonna be like, what the hell? Who in the hell is Bargain Bethany? I'm talking about if you're also a fellow content creator, whether that be on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, I think it's important to give credit to your fellow creator, especially if they inspire you. Like I said, my rack is inspired by Simple Made Pretty. All the products I'm using to make this are from Dollar Tree, except for the wood because I wanted to make this sturdy I wanted to use wood and I was able to find some inexpensive wood at Walmart for one dollar so at least I know you guys will be able to find this wood I knew I would be putting a lot of weight on top of my rack so I wanted to make sure I made it sturdy because I didn't want all the weight to just come crashing down and all my mugs break and I don't want that to happen to any of you guys so I really tried my best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you do, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the video. So the wood I'm using for this DIY, like I said, is from Walmart. It is wood stakes. You're going to find them in the tool section and they are a dollar a piece. So it's the exact same price. You're going to pay for something at Dollar Tree. The difference is, is it's real wood and this will help give your rack a lot of security. I'm using four pieces of that wood. Now what I do is I lay two out, these will be the sides, and then I have two other pieces that I'm going to take a hacksaw to, to cut them down to be the pieces of wood that go through this. I wanted to have the hooks that I'm using to have even more security, so that's why I decided to lay out little pieces of wood to the back of them. And I'm also able to screw these hooks on. Here's the thing, you can get away with just two pieces of wood and not put a little back piece of wood to each hook that you're using. But I decided to have that backing to make this extra secure. So what I do is I take a pencil, I figure out the measurement for my slices of wood, and then I take a hacksaw to them. Dollar Tree does carry hacksaws, but I'm telling you the hacksaw breaks pretty easily. I went to Walmart, I got this little hand one for $2.48, and it's one that could be used multiple times versus the hacksaw from Dollar Tree, which I guarantee you will break when you initially start cutting, or at least by the second piece of wood when you start cutting, because I've used the hacksaw from Dollar Tree so many times and it does work it's sharp enough but what happens is it breaks because the blade isn't attached that well now what I'm doing is I'm taking my hook and I'm placing it on top of the wood I then trace out where I want the screws to be so this hook is different from the ones I used previously it comes with screws so I take a pencil I mark out where I want to place my screws and then I take my screwdriver and I start pushing the screw into the wood because this wood isn't that thick it is real easy to get the screw through the wood without using a drill bit if you are having an issue getting the screw into the wood you can take a nail and a hammer to get a little hole inside of your wood and then screw it in that way i previously uploaded a mug rack dollar tree diy and the hooks that i used that time were the over the door hooks these tool hooks are so much more sturdy than the over the door hooks that i used it's thicker wire and it comes with the screws which is really nice once i have all of my little hooks attached to the wood I then start to attach them to the side pieces of wood. So I'm attaching all the wood together using an electric staple gun that I got at Walmart. And I've said it so many times in my DIYs, highly recommend one. It makes life so much easier. Now, if you don't want to use that, you can always use nails to do this. You can use a hammer and a nail. You can use like different brackets. There's so many ways you can make this and make it work for you. Now, I knew I wanted a bucket of greenery and to use the Dollar Tree cooling racks with this. So as I place on the wood and I staple it in place with each section where I want my bucket to be, where I want the cooling racks to be, 
I make sure that I'm spreading out my hooks far enough so that I can have those cooling racks where I want them to be and the bucket where I want it to be. I take my time with this. I put a lot of staples. I'm not being stingy with the staples. Like I said, I'm going to be putting glass on this. I'm going to be putting mugs on this. The last thing I want is for this to fall apart on me. Side note. If I did this again, I would have attached all of the wood together first before I placed on the hooks. When I film my tutorials, I film them right then and there. I don't practice what I do beforehand, I just do it. So sometimes I do things backwards and then after I look at it, I'm like, well, there's a much easier way to do it. So personally, I would attach the wood first, paint the wood the color I want it to be, and then attach the hooks. But I'm showing you guys it the way I did it because this is how I did it initially. After I have everything attached, I then start to attach the cooling racks. They are two for a dollar from Dollar Tree and I'm just using two of them. To hook them up to this entire little thing that I'm making, I used zip ties. What I did is I looped the zip tie through the hooks, so the tool hooks, the bottom wire piece, I don't really know how to describe it. I'm attaching the cooling rack to that with my zip ties. If you try this out yourself, you'll know exactly where you honestly want to put the zip tie. You just want to make sure that the cooling rack is attached to the entire unit uh, as a whole. Otherwise, it's just going to fall right off. So even if you like messed up, you're going to realize, okay, wait, well, this is where I'm supposed to hook it. You just got to slide your zip tie through and hook it. The zip ties are from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree carries clear, black, and red zip ties. Depending on what you choose to paint this, I would go with that color zip tie. So if you were going to paint it red, just get the red one. If you're going to paint it black, just get the black one. But if you're going to paint it any other color, I suggest getting the clear ones. So after I have my zip ties hooked, what I started to do was I started to use a white wood stain to stain the wood and I hated the wood stain like it was not nice at all. So I ended up just spray painting the entire thing white. Go ahead and paint this whatever color you like. I just went with white and then it was time to hang it. To hang it up there's so many different ways you can hang this up. I had three nails and then I just like place this on top of the nails but I also put command strips on the back of the wood to make sure it wasn't gonna fall down on me I just really wanted to make sure it's secure but you can even nail through the wood and then get it through your wall you just need a long enough nail but you don't it honestly doesn't even have to be a super long nail um, there's other ways too you can get the little like kind of picture hooks and screw them to the back of this and then hang it up that way there's a bunch of different ways you could do it. I just really highly recommend using nails. Do not just use command strips unless you're not going to put a lot of weight on this. Now the reason I placed the cooling racks was so that I could hang my basket that I have off of it. And now what I'm going to do my next DIY after tomorrow's DIY is going to be with the cooling racks and baskets. I really wanted to make a little organizer with that. And then I just placed like greenery, some wood garland, and then like my mugs. I feel like the wood garland and the greenery makes it also look like a decoration versus just like a rack for the mugs and it depends like sometimes you can't place a bunch of mugs side by side by side with these hooks just because of the width of your mugs I'm just saying just because there's seven hooks to each like unit that doesn't mean you could put seven mugs because it depends on the width of your mugs and the other thing that's cool about the rack you can put like a clip and put like recipes on there pictures on there whatever you want so that is it for this mug rack DIY I know I've done quite a few mug racks recently but there's just so many cool things you can do with Dollar Tree products and mugs so it's like I like it anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up I will see you guys next time take care bye